Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another video. So I'm about on my way to go do some digging today, but in the meantime, here's another unreleased video from back in 2019. Now next weekend is gonna be the last installment of this old footage, and then after that, we're gonna be back to all brand new 2021 hunts. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Now on with the show. guys there's the car I got off work a little bit early today and literally I stepped in the grass on my first plug I see a token and it was ringing high I've dug one of these before and it rang really low so there's a chance I could have a spill here there it is good for one city fair and this is gonna be an Omaha Council Bluffs uh, adult rail car token which are considerably harder to find than the kids ones well I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'll loop you back in when I got the detail so here it is all cleaned up good for one city fair and then on the back side we got the uh, Omaha Council Bluff Street Railway it's a little bit worn out but hey that's okay I'll take it so I'm gonna put that in the pouch and check this out detector is going off so I'm gonna go ahead and just live dig whatever else is in the hole. And we will see if we have another target. Whatever it is, it's still down there. So I'm gonna have to take out another chunk. It's getting close to winter here in Omaha, so the ground's getting a little bit tough. Seems like it is down deeper, so I'm gonna go ahead and get this pulled up, and if it's anything good, I'll loop you back in. Well, I should have kept on going because, check that out, very next scoop, we got us a coin in the hole. Ooh, it's a very green one. And a very crunchy one. Maybe there'll be something in the back. Probably a wheat head is going to be my guess. Yeah, there's the one cent. That is my first wheat for the day. Oh man, I'm not getting much for a date. I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up and I'll loop you back in when I got the date. Well, here's that wheat head, guys. 1932, and that's actually a date that I've never dug before, so I will need this one for the quarter hoarder challenge. And there's the back of the coin. This one's pretty toasty. I'm gonna put that in the pouch and recheck this hole just one last time. If I can find my pin pointer. Actually, while I'm here, show you that impression. Looks beautiful. Wait, I don't think that's an impression. I think that might be another coin in there. Yep, that is another coin so we have us a spill and there's the impression out of the other one I'm gonna guess wheat head this side is very very toasted and it looks like there's some schmooze over the date but if I flip it over we do have one cent, so that is another wheat penny. I'll go ahead and get this one cleaned up and I'll loop you back in. In fact, before we do that, I'll set that one aside and check the hole one last time. Looks like that's it. I'll loop you back in when I got a date on the penny. Well, this one is very, very crusty, but it is a 29D, so definitely a good find there. It's nice to have an older wheat penny. I'll go ahead and show you guys the totals from that little spill, if I can just grab it out of my pouch. But there we go. Great start to the day. First hole, we got two wheat pennies and a token. Can't get mad at that. I'll catch you on the next good find. Got something really cool here. It's something I've never found before, but if I can get this cleaned up, that is going to be a jack. 
That is the first one of those I've ever found. They're iron, so they don't really sound the greatest out of the hole, but this one was in with a memorial petty. That's a cool find, I'll take it. Let's see if we get something else. Well, I just got down to my first coin here. Well, first old one, I already looked and did see that it is a wheat penny. You can sort of see that coming through. Let's see if we got a date. 19, if I can get a hold on it. Something with a D mint mark. I'll go ahead and get this cleaned up. And if it's pre-40s, I'll loop you back in. Well guys, I'm not down too deep in the sidewall. Look at that. That's gonna be silver, no doubt about it. Let's see what we got for variety. Oh, it's just a Washington. Nice. Nice clean wipe there. It's got a Denver mint mark. Could it be an old one? Absolutely not. 1962. I'll take it though. <laughs> That's still a cool find. Silver number one for the day. Let's see if we can get something else. Well guys, I just pulled up this car here and you can see it is hollow and I wiped out the inside. Look at that. If I can get that little bit of grass out of there. Sorry to keep you guys waiting, but there it is. That, there is a Tootsie toy. And what's special about this is that I have never actually found a Tootsie toy before. It is a rabbit. Not sure exactly what this is or how old it is, but if I can get a date for you, I'll loop you back in with one. Either way, really cool find. I'll catch you on the next good dig. Well, I just got another cool find here. Look at that. That is the smallest pocket knife I think I have ever seen. Not sure what the handle is. I think that is a bone handle most likely. So it could have some age to it. Either way, that's a really cool find. So I'll put that in the pouch and let's see if we can get something else. Well, I'm on the curb strip and I just flipped out a coin. I want to say it's a wheat head. Looks red, so it's probably going to be, yeah, it's a wheat head. Probably going to be 40s or 50s. Can you see that? I can't. Maybe a pants rub will get that cleaned up a little bit better. I want to say I see 40 something. I'll take it though, first of the day. Let's see if we can get some more. So I'm still pretty shallow on this one and I just pulled up this bit here which appears to be some sort of vintage watch band. I know what this is because I've seen watches with this style of band to tighten it. Well that's a really cool find. Let's see if we get something else. Well, it has been very, very slow going today, but I just pulled up this bit here. It appears to be a horse of some kind. It's made of lead, and it appears that it's missing the back legs, but you can't see that. I pulled that from probably 10 inches, so it's definitely got to have some age to it. In the pouch, that'll go. Let's see if we can get some more. Hey everybody, Bug Eater back with another wrap up from some hunts around Omaha. So I got into a lot of kids toys over these hunts. I got a jack, a lead horse, as well as my first ever complete Tootsie car. This one, I'm not sure if you'll be able to read it inside, but this one is a rabbit, which is circa 1969. So nice to have a 50 year old car. Uh, we got a pocket knife, which is actually the smallest pocket knife ever. If I slide a penny up for scale, usually the ones I find are like twice that size. And then I got a silver-plated brass watch band and some coins. Uh, for pennies, I got a 59D Memorial. I got into some wheats, got a 46D, 44S, which will make the Quarter Hoarder Challenge album. A 1932 plane, which at... Just over 9 million actually makes the low mintage category for the wheat pennies. And then I also got a 1929D. And these two here were in as a spill with this token here. Uh, this one being an Omaha and Council Bluffs Street Railway uh, Company rail car token. 
and it's good for one adult fair. And then I was able to get onto one silver out of the yard in one of my favorite neighborhoods, being a 1962 Washington Quarter with a Denver Mint mark. So it was definitely a fun time. Um, anyway, that was my wrap-up. Thanks again for coming along. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe. And this is Bug Eater, signing out.